What's up mga friends? Okay. So, um, isa ka ba sa mga taong hirap mag-gain ng weight? Pinapangarap mo ba yan pero napakahirap mati mo o makuha yung pangarap mo na yan? So, napakaswerte mo ngayong araw na to dahil isashare ko sa iyo tips and tricks kung paano ka magiging successful sa pag-gain ng weight. Watch until the end mga friends! Okay, so we'll be discussing this time around on how you can be successful in gaining weight. So medyo marami nag-request nitong video na to from the previous videos that I've created and mostly um, for losing weight, how you can be healthy and fit, pero may mga ibang nagre-request din naman kung paano naman mag-gain ng weight. So napakaswerte mo at ito na yung video edition ng pag-gain ng weight. Alright, so if this is the first time that you are in this channel, please make sure to click that uh, like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright. So, simulan na natin, mga friends, kung paano talaga ikaw magiging successful sa pag-gain ng weight. Alright. So, there are, there are a few things that uh, you have to consider first for you to become successful sa pag-gain ng weight. So, ano tong dalawa o tatlong bagay na dapat mo i-consider para mag-successful ka sa pag-gain ng weight? Number one. Kailangan mo malaman kung ano muna yung body type mo. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng body type? So, ang tao usually meron tatlong klase ng body type. So, magiging technical ako dito, sabihin ko, but if you understand this very well, at nalaman mo kung ano specific na body type mo, then ang positive na magiging successful ka sa pag-gain mo ng weight. Okay, so three types of body type. Number one, ectomorph. Number two, mesomorph. At number 3, endomorph. So, tatlo lang ang klase ng body type ng tao. So, yan tatlo lang na yan. Alright? Pero hindi naman siya ground rule or isang rule na naka, naka, nakalagay sa bato na yan lang talaga yung tatlong klase ng body type. It can be a combination of two nung tatlo na yon. Pwede mangyari na ecto meso ka, pwede din naman mangyari na mesomorph at endomorph ka. Pero hindi pwede mangyari na ecto at endomorph. No? So, it's always the first two and the two and the third body type. So, pwede maging mixture yan kung ano yung body structure mo. Alright. So, usually, sa mga taong hirap na mag-gain ng weight, ang usually body structure nila ay ectomorph. Bakit nga ba ectomorph ay hirap sa pag-gain ng weight? So, merong mga few things that you have to consider kung bakit hirap mag-gain ng weight ang isang ectomorph. Kasi, uh, physiologically, ang katawan ng isang ectomorph ay yun nga, uh, maninipis yung buto, uh, maliliit yung joints, uh, napakabilis ng metabolism. So, ayun yung mga bagay na dapat mo i-consider kung ikaw ay isang ectomorph. So, gaya na sinabi ko kanina, usually yung mga taong hirap mag-gain ng weight, ang classification nila would either be ectomorph or a combination ng ectomorph and mesomorph. So, uh, wala ako nakitang, at least in my experience, I can be wrong, uh, wala ako nakita na isang taong hirap mag-gain ng weight na endomorph siya. So, usually, pag endomorph, uh, napakabilis lang yan siya mag-gain ng weight. So, ang hirap talaga would be the ectomorph. Okay? Alright, so before I share with you things that you have to consider, I want you to stay until the end of the video because at the latter part of the video, I will share with you um, few foods that you can prioritize that has very high calories every time that you eat this food. So, makakatulong sa ito, uh, kahit konti lang kainin mo nito mga pagkain na to, pero napakataas naman ng calorie niya, so that would help you in terms of being successful in gaining weight. So, I want you to stay until the end of the video and I'll share exactly what these foods are. Okay? So, there are a few things that you also have to consider aside um, just merely understanding kung anong body type mo. So, ano yung mga few things that you also have to consider? Number one, uh, you have to consider ano ba yung daily activity na ginagawa mo. Regardless if you are working or not, kung meron ka bang physical activities like um, exercise, going to the gym and whatnot. So, these are things that you have to consider also um, kung bakit hindi ka nagiging successful sa pagigain mo ng weight. 
Ano yung pangalawang dapat mong i-consider? Ang pangalawang dapat mong i-consider would be yung number or dami ng calorie intake na kinakain mo sa isang araw. Baka kasi naman, ang nangyayari lang is that with your normal average daily activities, yung dami ng kinakain mo is not enough para mag-gain ka ng weight. Yung kumbaga sa ano, parang sakto lang ang nai-experience mo ng dami ng intake ng calorie at just enough para i-survive ng katawan mo yung daily activity niya. So, that second thing that you have to consider kung bakit hindi ka pa nagiging successful sa pag-gain mo ng weight, mga friends. So, ano yung pangatlong dapat mo i-consider? Ang pangatlong mong dapat i-consider would be ay yung haba ng oras ng pagtulog mo. Dahil ang di mo nalalaman is that pag natutulog ka, nagbe-burn ka pa rin ng calories. Okay? So, I'll be sharing something very technical. Usually, in an average, an average person would usually burn calorie of um, 0.42 to 0.85 calories per hour. Depende ko anong body weight mo. No? So, for example, ang body weight mo would be uh 150 or 100 pounds. So for example, yan ang body weight mo. So for you to know exactly kung ano ang number of calories na na na-burn mo pag natutulog ka would be yung body weight multiplied by 0.42 or 0.85 and kung ano man yung sagot mo diyan, yan yung number of calories na na-burn mo. So ibig sabihin, uh, ideally kung nagbe-burn ka ng ganyan calories while you're sleeping, Yan dapat yung idinadagdag mo na calorie intake mo just before you go to sleep para maging successful ka in gaining weight. Kasi kung right now, say for example, kumakain ka na ng 1,500 calories per day and it's just enough for you to maintain a 100 pounds of calories for the longest, uh, 100 pounds uh, of weight for the longest time. So, uh, for you to become successful, you have to consider yung calorie na nababurn ng katawan pag natutulog. So, okay, so yan. So, pang-apat na dapat mo i-consider is that yung frequency ng eating mo, mga friend. Baka naman kumakain ka na isang basis lang, dalawang basis lang. So, kulang nga yan siya in terms of you for you to become successful sa pagigain mo ng weight. So, ayun yung apat na mga bagay na dapat mo i-consider for you to become successful sa pagigain ng weight. Alright. So, ito na mga friends. I-share ko na sa inyo kung ano yung mga foods na napakatas ng calorie kahit konti lang ang kakainin mo. Excited ka na ba dyan, mga friends? Please, if you have a pen and paper, you may want to jot it down also. Kung ayaw mo naman, okay lang. Just make sure you bookmark or save this video para you can always get back to this video later on. Okay? So, number one, avocado. Okay? So, ang avocado... Yung half lang ng avocado, yung kalahating pisngi, no? yung kalahating pisngi ng avocado, it usually has already 125 calories. Yung kalahati pa lang ng pisngi yun, yung medium size lang yan, mga friend. So, isipin mo na lang yung kalahati lang ng no? 125 calories na kaagad. So, um, kung ikaw nagdagdag ka ng calories, so before you start eating or before you start sleeping, yung sinabi ko kanina, pwede mo i-consider yan. Kasi usually, ang isang tao would either usually burn somewhere about mga 100 to 200 uh, calories while sleeping. So, if you take half of the avocado before ka matulog, that will help also a lot for you to be able to gain weight. Okay? Dark chocolate. So, dark chocolates, usually one-fourth cup nito would usually give you 80 calories na kagad. So, isipin mo, isang cup ng dark chocolate would give you 320 calories na kagad yun, mga friends. Isipin mo yun, isang cup ng dark chocolate would give you 320 calories na kagad. So, napakalaking bagay niyan, di ba, mga friends? So, pangatlo. Itong pangatlo nga sabihin ko, medyo a little pricey, pero masasabi ko sa inyo that it's something that you may want to consider sa pagda-diet nyo. Olive oil. Ang olive oil, 14 grams lang. Again, 14 grams lang ng olive oil would already give you 120 calories. Isipin nyo na lang mga friends kung gaano kakonti yung 14 grams at bibigyan ka niya na kagad ng 120 calories. Okay, 
Ang next mga friend is ito, very common ito. Um, usually, lagi natin itong ginagamit at ito yung go-to nating mga Pilipino pag uh, ang gusto natin is mag-gain ng weight. Alam nyo na ba kung ano to? Gusto nyo hulaan? Okay. So, ito yan siya. Kanin. So, one cup ng kanin would give you alam nyo ba kung ano? Ang one cup ng kanin will give you 190 calories. So, isipin nyo na lang yung mga friend kung gaano karaming calories yan. So, last two tayo mga friends is share ko sa inyo. Ang pangalawa sa huli would be red meat. So, yung mga karne, karneng baboy, karneng baka, so yan siya, makakatulong yan sa inyo pag gagain ng weight. Ang last but not the least that can help you uh, in gaining weight would be yung salmon fish or yung any oily fish. Um, yung mataas yung um, oil niya na klase ng isda. Dahil ang isang salmon or any oily fish na 170 grams would give you somewhere about 350 calories. Ganyan kalaki yan mga friends. Okay? So, yan yung mga simple foods or healthy foods na pwede mong itake, idagdag sa normal diet mo para makatulong sa pag-gain mo ng weight. Okay? So, I hope sana nakatulong ito sa inyo mga friends. Okay? So, um, if this video did help you for you to become successful in gaining weight, please make sure to um, share this to your friends and family. Don't forget again to hit that like button. Okay, mga friends?